What's up guys this is Joel again. In today's video we have the title of My Family Doesn't Understand Me. This video is message for all the students and all the parents. So first of all my family doesn't understand me. These are the common lines you might have heard in your home or from your friends or in your school at your workplace. My family doesn't understand me. Everyone says that it's not just the kids or not just the children that has to say this. Even the parents feel that my family doesn't understand me. The very basic and important need to talk to each other. We have lost that charm. We have lost that connectivity and that habit to talk to each other, to explain your problems, to share your problems, and to let the other person know how you feel. Nowadays, you might have noticed that we don't even say to each other like Dad, I love you or Mom, I love you or Hey son, I love you. Let's go out for some um, movie or let's go out for dinner. I love you. We don't feel that gratitude or maybe we feel it but we are so shy to admit that we love our parents. We love our children. So the first problem I would like to talk about here now is the comparison. We compare our parents with the other people's parents. We see our friends having the new iPhone or having the new Mac or having the new bike and we compare like my dad doesn't give me that. And we literally compare like it's not like they are rich. It's just that his father loves him more than my father loves me. That's why he's got this bike or he's got this iPhone. But no, that's not right. Your father loves you the same way his father loves him. The love cannot be compared through the possessions we have. Or Also, the parents feel that uh, my kids are not as hardworking or as sharp as the other guy's kids. They literally tell them on the face like look at that kid he's so sharp and he's so work he's so hard working and he's going to end up at some really good place but you won't why such comparison why to make him feel that way because it's about your own ego let me tell the parents that yes you do have the ego problems with yourselves and with your kids you have to put aside the ego even the children that are listening to this you have to put aside all your ego when you're talking to your parents what we can do here is rather than comparing your children with other children set an example for them give them an ideal image that you want them to become or plant the seeds of some really beautiful ideas which you have for example if you want them to become some really good engineer or doctor show them the topmost engineers life examples or the doctor's life examples show them what they have achieved show them what they could do when they receive the same power as these other people have that are on the top that is how you compare that is what you should show them if you want your kids to go really high in studies or if you want them to uh, work really hard make them love the studies show them the future show them what they could achieve or how like how they could enjoy the life or how they could live the life show them that rather than showing that you have to get the first class that is not important thing living beautifully is important thing. when you want your kids to fulfill your dreams what happens is they are not interested to be very frank they are not going to be interested when are they going to be interested? When they want to do something from their heart, from their own perception, from their own thinking, when they are inspired to fulfill the dreams, that is when they will fulfill the dreams. Not because you told them that he is going to become a doctor or he is going to become an engineer or he is going to become an artist. He is not going to do it or she is not going to do it. She or he will only be doing it if they are so much interested. If you forcefully push them, they might do it at some extent. But trust me, trust my word, they are not going to be happy in life. They are not going to be happy at all in life. And they won't even understand why this happened. They'll always feel the emptiness inside them. But they won't understand. 
because you push them to do something what they didn't want. The children here, uh, I would like you to understand that when your parents tell you something, they are telling it to you because they love you so much and because they want you to have a healthy, have a beautiful and have a prosperous life. All right. They are not against you. They are not your enemies at all. The most you can rely on this world is from your parents. You have to understand this, that they are not your enemies and they love you as much as you love them. They have seen the world. They want you to be safe from the people who can betray you. Your family doesn't hate you. The connection I was talking about at the very beginning of the video is the connection we all must have. All right. The connection can easily come only by talking to each other. There is no super science or some rocket science in understanding this. It's very simple. Whatever issue you are facing, you rather than telling your friends or rather than discussing it with some people you rely on, you have to say this in front of your family. Start telling them how you feel and trust me, they will understand. They will understand your problems and the bond will get stronger. The stronger the family, the happier you are and the more chances to achieve success. So I would just suggest you to hold that grip of family, of love and keep on going further. If you have that love in the family, if you have that bond where you can share everything, there wouldn't be any single problem that you can diminish. So today's advice is love your parents, love your kids, understand them, share everything with them, no matter whatever the issue is, talk it out and be friends. Alright, so that's it. Thank you so much. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.